We've got something really cool. This has been under wraps and under development at ASUS for 11 months already, and it's not even released yet. We're looking at probably sometime later this year, 2013, you guys are gonna be able to get your hands on your very own Raider Express. Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. This is a storage solution from ASUS, which officially puts them in more categories than I think anyone else in the entire computer component business. But they are very, very serious about the way that they're entering this category. I mean, look at the way ASUS did networking, where they came in, you know, a couple products, and then boom, all of a sudden, ASUS routers are all over the place. We might see the same thing here. This is a PCI Express 4X card. We're not able to talk about what kind of a controller it's using. We're not able to talk about what kind of flash it's using. I'm not even allowed to show you the back. But what I am allowed to tell you is that this is going to look sweet with your ROG board. And what I'm also allowed to tell you is that ASUS has taken 11 months to release this guy, not only because they care about the performance. Any ROG product performs. This is a given. We already, like, I shouldn't even be saying this. You guys know this already. ROG project product performs. But, this is all about compatibility and interoperability. It is bootable, it is fast, so that's all good. It'll also work. So they validate it with every active ASUS chipset, so it'll work on any ASUS board. They're gonna just say, yes, buy ASUS board, put this in it, yay, thumbs up. If you buy an ROG board, it'll look sweet, but you know, you buy another board, it'll still perform awesome. In fact, if you buy even another more completely different board from another manufacturer, they're validating that too. So these are some of the issues that people had in the past with these PCI Express-based SSD storage solutions. Mistakes made by other companies are to the benefit of someone like ASUS because they can take that and go, look, we're not gonna do it that way, we're gonna fix it. I, for one, am extremely excited about this because frankly, there's not that much stuff that you can put in a PCI Express slot. I consider myself kind of ridiculous as far as my computer goes. I've got a dual slot graphics card, dual GPU, which is enough for me. I got my sound card, my Ballin Essence Zents, or Zonar Zents, rather. And then I've got a RAID card. So this would be, instead of a RAID card attached to a bunch of SSDs, I could have a RAID card SSD thing going on in that slot. And other than that, I mean, what else can you really put in there? Capture card, maybe? I got a capture card. So now we're gonna have more options. And because of that PCI Express 4X connector, we're moving beyond the bottleneck of SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second. It's not fast enough already. And in another quarter from now, when this guy sees the light of day, it's gonna be even not fast enough er. So PCI Express, here we go. Thanks for checking out this video and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you catch all of our CES 2013 coverage. And we're gonna amend this to the end. There's actually a couple cool overlays. So you can overlay your own crosshair, and I'm afraid I actually don't know how to do it, but uh, probably something to do with this game. There you go. Aim point pr for practice mode, and you can overlay a timer for yourself. So if you have, say you're an RTS player, and you're like, oh yeah, I gotta go check back on that expansion base in 45 seconds. You got your startup order, you're, you got it down, you set up your timer, that way you're able to Check it and monitor it without using like a phone stopwatch or something like that.
Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.